here's some of the things that are happening as the interest rate increases. So you keep seeing that the interest rate is rising, it's all over the news. In this video, let's discuss the impact, why, and what it's going to do to your wallet. My name is Manif Ali and I was a multimillionaire by the age of 24. I own multiple brick and mortar companies and I know a few things about how money works. And I'm here to give you real world practical advice. The Fed chairman, my buddy I like to call JP, the Caucasian named Jerome, he's at it again and he's raised these interest rates up and it seems like every time the Feds meet, it goes up by a quarter percent and they're threatening that it's gonna continue to go up even up to half a percent sometimes. And the stock market's reacting, the housing market's jumping around, everybody's like, what's gonna happen next? Fair play, even people who study economies around the world and the top people in those fields all agree that the Feds have to do something to return this country into what's called a neutral market money policy. And you might be wondering, what is a money policy? The money policy is communication and policies that the Federal Reserve has in order to control inflation, moderate interest rates, and to impact unemployment. So that's it in a nutshell. No big complex thing for you to think about. So inflation's hovering around 7.9%. Just Let's just call it eight to be fair. And the federal government wants to keep that neutral money policy where, think of it this way, you're not really pressing on the speed so the economy's moving super fast and you're not really applying the brakes so the economy stops moving. Their job is to kind of neutralize or cause economic equilibrium. Fancy way to say balance, right? So the goal for inflation is to keep it around 2%. Well, we're four times higher than what we should be. And for the first time in a long time since 2018, I believe, that's when the last time the Fed started to raise interest rates. And because of all this thing that's going on, uncertainty in the marketplace, inflation, we still have a pretty strong job market, but the cost of goods are definitely going up and now we have this whole war waging could be world war three are we going to get sucked into it all of that stuff is going on so the short question is how does it affect you speaking of inflation rising what i need for you to do is to go ahead and apply a little bit of liberal pressure to that subscribe button and let the algorithm know that our content is worthy so i can continue to make content such as this so let's get into it. So if you're thinking about buying a new car or a new house, you're probably gonna pay more for it than you would have a year ago when the interest rate was lower. If you already own a home or already got in the car, it's not gonna affect you much because your payments don't necessarily go up unless you have what's called an ARM, an adjustable rate mortgage. If you have a house, it will go up according to wherever the rate is so you can end up paying a little bit more in payments. Fractional sometimes, but still more at this point unless they raise it far greater than what everybody anticipates. Certain people have personal student loans. Those rates can go up depending on the contract and even the car loan could go up depending on what type of nasty contract you got into. But those things could go up. You could end up paying a lot more for a credit card as well. So if you're opening up a credit card, the chances are it'll be higher. If you've had an account open for longer than a year, they can raise the interest rate by giving you 45 days notice. So those are some of the impacts. So on credit cards, that usually is prime plus 50. 15% or so. Very high interest rates anyway, and you know how I feel about debt. So what are the brighter sides to all of this? Well, for one, if you put your money in the bank and you've been saving, you probably get next to nothing for your savings plan. I don't know, 0. 0.0 something percent most of the time. You could see an increase in the savings rate amount. I've seen some banks uh, online that offer a lot more now. Nationwide, for example, is offering 2.5% interest rate on your savings, depending on your savings amount. And there are some other banks online that give you a little bit more. Now, are you gonna be showered in money from a slight increase the interest rate on your savings? No, absolutely not. But you can earn a little bit more depending on the amount you have saved. When I say savings, you know, I like to utilize savings as a placeholder for my for my money, a vehicle for me to move it around other places other than underneath the mattress. Now, because the federal government is fighting inflation, the impact of slowing down the economy so that inflation won't go up too high is actually a great impact for us. So the consumer doesn't end up paying 35% for an old car, 80% for a brand new car, 60% more for gas. So if they are truly their policies, their money policy is fighting inflation. That's a positive impact on people that are working because we can afford more in the long run later on once our economy stabilizes. So the other positive is that when the economy is roaring and interest rates are low, the stock market is going up like that, right? So you can take advantage of a slowdown in the stock market by buying stocks that are undervalued. That's another bright side of all of this. Now, impact could be huge. Anything from joblessness to recession. But I want you to be wise 
minds about where and how you put your money. And just because you're watching this kind of content gives you a little bit more education about the matter, then let's just say watching inflation go by or interest rates take place without you really knowing what side of the fence to be on and what action to take. If you want to know more about how inflation works, go ahead and hit this video next.